All right, so today I'm dealing with a Nissan Rogue. I've been told that it doesn't turn over. And uh, there it is, here in this parking lot. As you can see, there are cars on the other side and not enough room for me to uh, do what I need to do. So this is the car. The other factor here is that someone put a truck kind of close. So, I'm <clears throat> probably going to have to end up doing a 90 degree snatch on this. We're going to get in here. Somebody's already been here. Let's <clears throat> see what happens. So we have a cranking issue. Could be a fuel pump. Could be... camshaft sensor, could be a relay, could be a lot of things. Giving it gas and nothing is happening. And we've just had a massive snowstorm, so that leaves us doing things the hard way. One thing that we can do is try to do the gear shifter up and down. We can also try to start it in neutral. Sometimes that works. But today we've got no dice on any of that. So, <clears throat> let's get things done in a difficult fashion, shall we? This is the part of tow truck driving that a lot of people don't get to experience or witness. All of the things that we go through to get it done. So basically, what I'm going to do is run my snatch block from this little port here. down because I don't want it getting away from me One thing I always like to do is to keep some cardboard because in a situation like today, you can put it down on the ground and save yourself from having a wet butt when you go to lay down. Okay, so I've got my snatch block hooked up there as you can see. My cable is running to the Rogue. I'm going to tighten my cable up. And one thing that I don't want to happen is when this Rogue comes out, I don't want it to keep coming and run into this. I think that's a traverse. So, that is one of the primary reasons that I like to keep either a very large wheel chock 
or some blocks because in the event that it does start to get away the blocks will be there to chalk the tires and make it stop now we're going to put it in neutral parking brake is off And we'll stand on this side so you can see what happens. into park then comes the fun part of spinning it to get it to my truck all right so now that I've readjusted I'm gonna put my bed down and run my cable back to my v-strap with the hooks and then I'm gonna need to get wheel chalk this vehicle is going to slide quite easily. Grab my chuck. And what I'm going to do is put it under the driver's side tire. And hopefully doesn't slide too much on this ice because the point here is to get it to spin 90 degrees on an axis that way it comes straight I can readjust the truck and hook right up to it so let's see what it does. Sometimes I'll use a recovery rope on the far control arm. But since I'm hooked up, I'm all right. I'm not putting the car into neutral because I don't want it to roll. I just want it to spin. And as you can see, the snow and ice is working for me. That back tire begins to pull. And then I'm going to readjust my chalk. To get more under it like that. And as you can see, the chalk is keeping the back wheels from rolling while pulling the front wheels to allow me to line up. And there we go. That is our 90 degree snatch and turn. Uh, from here, all I have to do is line the bed up, hook it up, and pull it up and tow it. And then find a good spot when I get there. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps any of you new and inexperienced tow truck drivers um, or anyone who's wondering how the heck is, is it going to happen there you go have a good day